what is up my guys welcome to another video in today's video we will be doing spaces on the honda which is proving to be a bit more difficult than i had hoped or expected it to be but before we get into today's video don't forget that i will be down in cape town from the 19th to the 29th of november i will be at kalani on the 20th and saldana drags on the 27th then on the 25th we will host the meet and greet follow me on my instagram for details of the meet and greet i will release all the details over the next couple of days probably within this coming week all the details will be finalized and i will post everything on my instagram on my youtube on my facebook so go and follow me and make sure that i see you at the meet and greet the reason why going with spaces is a bit more tricky than i had hoped as you can see the ones I've got at the moment they are not up centric the reason for that is I just want to figure out how thick of a spacer I want to run to get the perfect fitment at the moment these are eight mils I'm pretty sure it's not going to be enough but I can't go any or much thicker than this at the moment let's go to the car and I'll show you why as you can see we currently have the eight mil space installed I am going to have to paint them I did not expect to to have to do that but before we install them i am going to paint them black so they match the wheels but the other thing is look at the threads down there our little threads is left when running an eight mil spacer i'm not sure how safe that is but i am going to put them on and drive the car for a couple of days and see if I feel anything funny like I say this is a very temporary setup so I spoke to a dude in New Zealand this is his car and he told me that he has 25 mil spaces on his so I knew that going with 8 mil is not going to be nearly enough but to run a thicker spacer we're gonna either have to do two things get extended wheel studs or we are going to have to get an adapter that bolts to the up and then has its own set of nuts coming out so I need to investigate which of those two options we'll be going for. I think if we run an adapter, the, the least amount of space it can be or thickness will be 25 mil. I'm speaking under correction at this stage. But the adapters are thick boys, probably unless the back of the rim, I must actually look. If the back of the rim is open at the back, then the nut of the spacer then the nut of the spacer or the adapter that bolts to the up, that nut can sit in a hole in the wheel. But if the wheel is flush at the back, then we won't be able to do that. It is going to be an extremely costly process for us to get the wheel spaces. I just want to figure out more or less where we want to be. I do, however, think that 25 mil is a bit too much for my liking. I'm thinking maybe 15 to 20 mil but let's get these 8 mils on and see the other problem that we are encountering is the spigot ring which adapts from the up to the rim so the up has a center bore and the rim has normally a bigger center bore then you get a spigot ring to adapt that so that when you put the wheel on it centers the wheel in the center of the up we are unfortunately going to lose our spigot ring when we go with these the spigot ring is about as thick as the spacer so even if I put the spigot ring on and then the spacer the wheel will still not touch the spigot ring so I don't think there will be any advantage of running the spigot ring I will just double check before I install them finally maybe we can it would not matter if I center this the spacer no so we are going to lose our spigot ring i'm going to put these on actually i'm going to spray these put them on and then we'll take the car for a drive see what it looks like see how it drives if there is any wheel shake um i'll probably make a plan i'm not sure what plan i'll probably make a plan to see if i can eliminate the wheel shake if there is any but then we can get an idea how thick we want to go and then i can save up I have the spaces all painted up at the moment. I'm gonna give them about 30 to 40 minutes to fully dry, then I'll put 
two on the car and then we can have a look at the before and after fitment. So this is obviously the stock fitment or before and yes with the spaces definitely sits a lot better but I still think that we need to maybe add another about eight mils on there to get it to sit perfect but it is without a doubt a lot better so I'm going to go ahead now and put the spaces on on the passenger side and after that we'll take the car out for a drive to see if we have any shake on the steering wheel or anything whatsoever drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think of this fitment and if you haven't done it already hit the like button subscribe down below we are trying to get 25,000 by the end of this year we are currently just shy of 21,000 so i definitely need your help to get us to 25,000. doing about 120 and not gonna lie there is a bit of shake on the steering exactly as I expected it's coming from the front wheels I'm going to try and show you I'm not sure how much of it you'll be able to see but let's have a look I don't think you'll be able to see much of the steering shake but there is definitely a bit I'm gonna be honest it's not a lot but it's definitely not perfect I do have the wheel spanner here with me so I'm going to go to a secluded location my favorite secluded location in our area and then I will double check that all the wheels are actually tight after driving it a couple of kilometers and after that I will show you guys what the new fitment looks like Let me know down in the comments what you guys think if any of you have experience with this wheel setup and spaces on these cars I would like to know what you guys think or would suggest I know that this was a bit of a shorter video compared to our others but this is probably going to be the last video before Cape Town I'm flying out in five days and there's not much happening in between now and then except for work nothing much happening with the car we are going to be visiting uh, Kurt from STM Wongspec, we got some space that we need to fetch from him once I get there Then we'll also collaborate with Late Late Customs and a couple of other people while we are down there We are having a meet and greet on the 25th All the details for that will be on my Instagram, my YouTube and my Facebook That is going to be it for this one I'll see you in Cape Town bro Peace out and reflect your passion yeah.